back friends to another exciting edition of Cody's Movie Cave. We're not in the cave, but that is okay. So today, let's discuss Without Remorse. Tom Clancy adaptation on Amazon Prime. It's got Michael B. Jordan, aka Adonis Creed. He played Creed, Killmonger, and Black Panther. Really cool actor, does some good stuff. So let's get into it without remorse. I had went into this movie a fan of Tom Clancy's already. I had read the book Without Remorse, which the movie is based on. Fantastic read, highly recommend it. It is great. Is this movie anything like Without Remorse, the book? No, pretty much not. Just by name alone and characters' names. That being said, it's a pretty good movie. Now, if you're a true diehard fan of the book, though, you will be a little ticked off because it takes liberties here and there. Obviously, the movie's not set in post-Vietnam. I get it. I get why they did it, to make it modern and relevant. But here, you know, look, I think it would have been super cool to have a CIA black op movie set in post Vietnam War era deal. You know, I think that'd have been awesome because you don't really get a lot of that anymore. But I digress. This movie is non stop to the wall action. I mean, from, from the minute it starts to the, the end, it is non stop action. And it's some pretty cool action. Um, Michael B. Jordan is very believable. I, I've seen, you know, the videos of him training with the gun. So you can kind of, you buy him as this uh, black op bad end. So, but the movie is pretty simple in this story of revenge. You know, we got this character, John Clark, who is a Navy SEAL. So he's got the skill. Get it? That kind of rhymes. He's a Navy SEAL that's got the skill. But anyway... So, conspiracy, you know, that happens, this and that and other. His whole team gets wiped out, and he is of no exception. They come after him, but wind up wounding him fatally, almost fatally, and killing his wife and unborn child. That's enough to set any dude off right there. So, he gets well, kind of gets his strength back. There is some pretty cool scenes in the movie that... That borrowed from the book in particular where he uh, has to dress as a bum and sort of soils his clothes with, with, with urine that's straight from the book I, I appreciated them at least adding in some of the stuff that's from the book and uh, for the fans now this movie it's, I want to say it's an hour and 40 to 50 minutes it's pushing almost two hours so, but it doesn't really feel that long of a movie. I felt like I, I wanted it to be more. I wanted it to be longer, you know. I, I mean, I felt a little rushed. Don't rush me with my revenge movie. But anyway, Michael B. Jordan does a great job. So he goes after these people. There's some twists and turns that are kind of predictable for this genre of movie. But with that said, like I, like I said earlier, great action. Um, good performances from all the actors. You know, you got Michael B. Jordan, Guy Pierce is in this as a uh, Washington bureaucrat. Um, a few other people who's been in some things that, you know, not really sure or worth noting. But anyway, all good performances. Um, but like I said, you know, John Clark is a character who's from that Tom Clancy world. You know, Tom Clancy created this amazing book series with Jack Ryan, who um, is also doing, who also is enjoying an adaptation in series form on Amazon Prime, John Krasinski. Check it out. It's a great series. But anyway, so yeah, Tom Clancy is this, uh, this, this author who's created this world of espionage and black ops and you know, global intrigue, if you will, with these characters. And John Clark is his second most successful character outside of Jack Ryan. Um, he's had 
I think there was two books about John Clark that, well, the first one was Without Remorse, and then the second one, Rainbow Six, which a little history here also spawned the uh, successful PlayStation 3 video game series. Fan of that as well, have played it. It was very cool, very fun game. But anyway, so yeah, John Clark has had a history in movies and games and books and such and so on and such forth. Um, this is the third time John Clark's been portrayed on screen. The first one was in uh, Clear and Present Danger, which I believe was 94, 93 came out. Harrison Ford playing Jack Ryan. And like I said, Willem Dafoe played John Clark as a sort of supporting character. Great job, great performance. Check it out um, as this character. And then a couple years later, Some of All Fears, another Jack Ryan uh, movie, this time with Ben Affleck playing Jack Ryan, and uh, Liv Schreiber, he played John Clark in this one uh, this time. So yeah, John Clark has been on the screen before, many different times, all great performances, but this one is his solo, standout, alone movie character. With that said, and as a fan of the character in the books, I kind of wish we would have got a little more content, a little bit more, you know... I don't know, the book describes John Clark with, with, in, in such detail and such backstory. I realize that, you know, anytime you adapt a book, you kind of got to condense because, you know, books are way longer and movies are way shorter. With that said, though, I feel like he would have almost made a better series. That way we could have got more John Clark from the book. But it's a very entertaining movie. Very good action scenes, great shoot 'em ups. Does anybody say shoot 'em ups anymore? But anyway, yeah, without remorse, it's rated R. It's a hard R action movie. You know, it's going to be rated R. Um, it's on Amazon Prime, like I said, streaming free. So if you've got a subscription, check it out, man. It is free. Why not? It is good. It is good enough to watch with it being free want a hard copy it's also out on blu-ray which a lot of streaming companies don't really do you know when they put a movie out they really try to keep it on their own platform so they can kind of you know but anyway paramount put it out on blu-ray as well you know what I, you know what i would think would be really cool since amazon's kind of done both of them without remorse and the jack ryan series with john krasinski let's cross over let's do a combo either either have jack ryan show up in a rainbow six john clark sequel or vice versa have michael b jordan show up as john clark in jack ryan that would be cool i would dig it you know i mean like i said i'm a fan of these characters i read the books tom clancy is awesome so the material is there it is very good um did it live up to my expectations? No, it did not. Could it have been better? Yes, it could. But here's the thing. When people say, oh, it could have been better. Any movie could be better. You know? A great movie could have been better. A bad movie obviously can always be better. So, yes, without remorse, could have been better. There's worse ways to spend an hour and 50. You know, there is. You know, especially... Since this movie is free on Amazon, you're not out anything, you know? So, yeah, definitely check it out. I recommend if you like black ops and you like military thrillers and, and, and cool action. Uh, if you're a fan of Michael B. Jordan, check it out. He, Like I said, he, pu he pulls off a great performance in this movie. Wish he could have gotten to do a little bit more with the character, but that with being said, still a good movie check it out it's on amazon prime yeah very much so as always it's my opinion you know what i say about them their opinions they be like butts everybody's got one and some if not all them suckers stank <laughs>